Greetings fellow humans, Bad Mark here with another quickie switch review. Uh, today we're taking a look at the Otemu Cream Pink. This was sent over to me by KP Republic. Just a small batch of switches to see if there was any ones I was interested in maybe doing a deeper in-depth review of. So this is a switch that I cannot find much on the materials, but it's a very interesting switch. I already reviewed the Cream Green. Now, this is a long pull, which uh, leaves about four-tenths of a millimeter left over. But this is not a long pull. This one goes all the way, has a four-millimeter travel. They're both linear switches, though this one has a, has a more muted um, bottom out, being that it's not a long pull. Um, taking a look at it, we can see that it does appear to come factory pre-lubricated as we can see the telltale hint of lubrication on the stem as well as feel slight oily of the spring now this does also seem to be like otemu might be using some newer moldings for these as instead of being wing latch switches as many otemus are these are actually legged switches and then looking at it from below, we see what looks like a quite different bottom molding than I've seen from Motemus. And we also have five pin compatibility right there. So I've gone ahead and taken these switches and load them up under the D, F, and G key. On the rest of the keyboard, I have Akko White vintage switches these are stock they do not have any lubrication whatsoever these are the Akko and these are the Otemu cream pink Being as this is not a long pull, the bottom out on this is much more muted than it would be on the Akko Vintage White. So most of the bottom out sound here is being generated by the keycap hitting on the plate. And just that small tap, it's the stem hitting on the, the, the end of the upstroke. So these are... If you're looking for a light linear, because these basically, the weights on this is a, it's a 45 gram spring, though it has a 65 gram bottom out. They really, they feel like 45 gram springs. I don't feel anything close to 65, let alone 55. So if you're looking for something that is not necessarily silent, but it's going to be more muted and more quiet. And this is about your spring weight. Uh, these sell for approximately a quarter a piece or 20, I think it's 24, or 25 cents each once you uh, divide them out on KP Republic's website. And they're an interesting switch. I'd really like to find out the material that they're made out of, especially the top housing as it's almost rougher. And I kind of like the feel of it. And I, I like that it, how it has a, a deeper tone because it seems to be the similar material that they're using in the cream green anyway i hope that you enjoyed this review if you guys have any question about this or any other switch i've reviewed uh, please feel free to drop me a comment down below and i'll do my best to answer your question to the best of my ability until the next transmission keep calm and keyboard on